Okay, hello again. So, as promised yesterday, um, I said that I was going to swatch the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Creams. Um, I did a quick swatch yesterday on my lips, and I said that I really liked it. I didn't have the product on my lips for a long time, but while it was on, I didn't experience any real dryness or flaking. So, write a blog with, like, my actual thoughts about the, um about the liquid lipsticks but in the meantime just wanted to have some fun and uh swatch them for you so let's get this going first let me just say quickly there are 10 uh, different uh, beautiful shades for these uh, matte metallic lip creams and I mentioned yesterday that they smell fantastic. It's almost like a butterscotch vanilla type scent. It's very, very strong. So if you're not into butterscotch or vanilla, I don't recommend these. But um, the smell is very sweet and I personally like it. First shade we have right here is Chromatic Addict. And it's a really pretty um, beige metallic. This next shade we have here is Materialistic get it get the pun and it is a really pretty um like brownish rusty type color the website describes it as rose gold i do not describe it as rose gold whatsoever um but regardless it is super unbelievably pretty look how pretty i love it this next shade we have here is matte about you <laughs> matte puns and it is a very vivid um coral shade Felt like these first two shades applied very, very pigmented, and this one, the third one, um, just almost went on like a little watery and a little more sheer. Although it may not necessarily look it, I just felt that it might have been a little different from the first two, but nevertheless, it's really, really pretty. This next one here is Cinematic Kiss, and it is a very pretty um, pink shade. These, oops, oh, look at me. I'm just creating a mess. These dry down a lot more matte. Like, I'm kind of showing them to you fresh off the swatch. So that's why they look, like, a little more satiny. But they dry. Like, look at the first, mainly the first two. When I put it on my lips yesterday, formula dried really quickly. Again, not drying my lips out, but it dried really quickly. So I just feel like uh, swatching on my arms is, um, you know, they're not drying as quick. I realize I'm not going to be able to fit all the swatches on my arm. Uh, because of my tattoo, so I may either have to switch arms or just get all sloppy. I just realized that with the first one, I didn't really emphasize the matte pun. So let's do a do-over. Cinematic Addict. Okay, I got that out of my system. This one right here is very, very blurry. Dramatic Diva. Um, and it is a very, very uh, bright fuchsia. These last three shades, um, I'm going to say kind of like similar to that coral shade. I feel like they were a little more watery and sheer as opposed to the first two. Um, so that took like two swipes to kind of get the color impact that I wanted. The first two, it was like one swipe and I was done. Uh, these three, a little extra effort. Just a little. Okay, these last couple shades is where it starts getting fun for me. This one right here is Mattily in Love. And oh my god, yes, that is the matte shade that I'm looking for. That is the matte metallic of my dreams. I can't wait for this shade to like dry down so I could actually see it in all of its glory. But it's a beautiful metallic red. Yeah, so far my favorite. I'd have to say that the first two are my favorite and then uh, mattily in love has to be. Next shade we have here is Automatic Touch, and it is a, a wine purpley type shade. It is really, really very pretty, um, very, very bright. I don't know how it'll transfer onto the lip. If you really, really want to make a statement, either go with this one or that hot pink one, which is Cinematic Kiss. Next shade we have here, number eight is Raving Matte. Oh, Raving Matte, I get it. This one is a uh, deep purple. I had to move the swatches to up here. So if you see that it has a little texture, 
That is not, in fact, a defect in the product. That is my arm hair. Because I'm human, goddammit. This next one's beautiful. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do. It is pure madness. Mm, the madness! Madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica! Don't do it! Anyways, moving on. Look at that. Oh my God. It is a brown mauve shade. Ugh. Love it so much. Like these browns, you know, the beige and these two browns, are incredible. The pigmentation is insane. It's insanity. I love it. Oh my God. One. This, my friend, is my favorite shade. Pretty problemat. Ick. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? This is the sh oh, this is the shade that I swatched yesterday on my lips. It is a gorgeous cranberry shade, like more of like a deep vampy cranberry shade, maybe more like a burgundy. I would say this is obviously more wine, and that one's more berry. This one right here, the raving matte or automatic touch. I forget which one that is. Described as wine, so I will describe this one which is this one's automatic touch i will describe that one as being a berry and this one as being a wine oh my god i can't get enough of it this one is my favorite of the collection this one's my favorite i heard of the mac get up what it is what it does what it is what it is looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit he did never shot him struck walking a little bit of humble a little bit of cautious i just wanted to make sure i didn't lose you there Moving on, I swear I have not been drinking. I'm just tired. Here are the swatches. The Amore Matte Metallic Lip Creams. Let's take a close look at them. Look at that red. Look at that red. Look at that brown. There they are. They are all dried. Some of them don't look as metallic as they do in person, particularly those three middle ones and maybe that one on the end and maybe even um, raving matte right there. Some of them do in person look more metallic than others, but the ones that are the the ones that don't necessarily look metallic, they are metallic in person. So don't look at this and be like, what? They are not metallic. They are. They're just a little more subtle. So, let me pick out my favorite shades for you. Okay, so, I picked out my favorite shades for you. Yes, half of them contain my favorite shades. The other ones are more pinks and purples and the corals that I don't personally wear as much. I'm more into, like, deeper shades and red shades and I apparently brown shades. With that being said, uh, let's, let's do a countdown, actually. The fifth spot goes to Materialistic, which is that uh, brown that brown shade. Next is Chromatic Addict, which is that beigey nude shade. And in honor of the Olympics, let's do it this way. The bronze medal goes to Pure Madness, that shade right there, um, which I was not expecting to like as much as I do. In here, it's in, in the tube. I didn't love it as much, but swatched, I am in love. Silver metal goes to Matley in Love, which is that red right there. Perfect for the holidays. I can't wait. And the gold medal goes to Pretty Problematic, the burgundy wine shade. I promise you, I have had no alcohol this evening. I am just being really weird and delirious so anyways yes my absolute favorite has to be mm, pretty problematic it's just it's the shade i've been looking for these matte metallics are is is the formula and the the finish that i've been looking for with this whole metallic lip trend um the um i've only tried a few um metallic lips uh, the ColourPop Metallic Lips, I have the, there's two from the original, a Three Way and Queen, um, I, I don't love them, and I love everything ColourPop, you guys know that, i just not a fan of those in particular, um, and then you have the Ofra ones, which I do love, but, um, it's not the finish that I've been looking for, like, they, um, they don't dry matte like that, um, so, yeah, so, 
I really hope that these feel good on the lips. Like I said, I tried that shade yesterday and it felt pretty good, but I didn't have it on that long. So I can't tell you if it holds up during eating or drinking. Over At first impressions, it was great, but I really do hope that um, to last throughout the day. Maybe I will try this one, my, my gold medal winner. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow just to see how um how it holds up at work tomorrow um but i really do hope that they live up to my first impressions the colors are stunning um so yeah i think i'm gonna do one of my instagram videos swatching them on my lips I have to be prepared my lips are gonna be raw because i did take this off last night and um it wasn't easy like it really did stay so i may have to do it in like two parts i'll do like these five one day and these five another i'll do like my favorites all in one video so that is it i am not going to bore you any longer um i'll have more details on my blog with a full review within a, a, probably a week or two and maybe i'll try and do a s instagram swatch video uh this weekend so i hope you guys had fun at my swatch party it was fun for me maybe not for you for me i had fun I was silly, I was delirious, I probably embarrassed myself, but I don't care because I had fun. So thank you all for watching. Um, I love you. Maybe I don't. I've probably, I've probably never met you, but I'm sure you're fabulous. So thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. I'm sure I'll be back tonight at some point. Thanks, guys.